What's going on everybody? In this video we're going to be talking about some former NFL slash NCAA players that have signed in the CFL for 2022. Really quickly before we get started, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is by hitting the like button and subscribing to Aussie's Huddle for more CFL content just like this. I really appreciate it everybody. And with that said, let's get on with the video. So basically in compiling this list, I looked at a couple of things. So first of all, I looked for uh, guys that were former NFL draft picks or were notable college players. And then I also looked at guys that actually were active for NFL games and like actually did get to play in actual NFL games. That's basically the criteria I used to uh, select the players for this list. And so the first guy I want to talk about is defensive back Josh Harvey Clemens who was a seventh round pick in 2017 out of Louisville. He spent 2017 to 2020 with the Washington football team and that's basically the only thing that he's notable for that he actually was uh, you know active for a good period of time in the NFL and uh, basically fell out of the league in 2021 and then signed with Montreal this offseason. The next guy I want to talk about is a guy that a lot of people may have heard of and that is wide receiver Justin Hardy, a former fourth round pick in 2015 out of East Carolina by the Atlanta Falcons and he spent 2015 to 2019 with the Atlanta Falcons and also played with the Chicago Bears in 2021 at least as an off-season practice roster guy. And across his NFL career, he actually has respectable production, had 95 career receptions and nine touchdowns. So he wasn't just no scrub in the NFL. And he joins an interesting receiving group with the Red Blacks. The next guy we're going to talk about is a guy that I think almost everybody, any football fan, has heard of. And that is quarterback Chad Kelly, who was famously the last pick in the draft a few years back in 2017. Chad is most famously known as the nephew of Buffalo Bills Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly, and he was actually a star at Ole Miss University. He spent some time with the Broncos and the Colts in the NFL, but never really got a chance to throw a pass in a game, so you know, not too much experience coming north of the border here for Kelly at the professional level, but it should be interesting to see if he factors into their quarterback situation. Another player with NFL ties is defensive lineman Jackai Polite, who signed with the Toronto Argonauts this offseason. He played college football at Florida and had a massive junior year with 11 sacks. This led him to becoming a third round pick in the 2019 NFL Draft and was selected by the New York Jets. However, Polite is most famously known for being cut before ever playing a regular season game for the Jets and ultimately he would play only 11 total NFL games as he was picked up by the Rams the next season. So we'll see if he makes an impact with the Argos. The next guy I want to mention is not necessarily known for being the player that he is but most notably his last name and that is linebacker Solomon Ajayi. His older brother Jay Ajayi was a former star running back in the NFL with the Miami Dolphins and Philadelphia Eagles. Solomon played at both Liberty and Bakersfield College and his most recent stop in pro football was in 2020 with the Cleveland Browns. So it's gonna be interesting to see if he factors in to a very interesting linebacking group in Toronto this year. Now moving to the quarterback position with Jamie Newman who signed with the Hamilton Tiger Cats this offseason. He was a former star at Wake Forest University who had an exceptional season in 2019, was really being mentioned as one of the favorites for the Heisman Trophy going into the 2020 season after transferring to Georgia. But unfortunately, that was around the time when uh, the pandemic broke out and he actually ended up opting out of that season and never really got a true NFL shot. He got uh, signed to a minicamp spot with the Eagles, but uh, never stuck around down there. So he signs with the Tire Cats this offseason, and it's going to be interesting to see if he can get his pro career on track. This next guy is really only notable for being on an active roster, and that is wide receiver Darvin Kidsey. He was an undrafted guy out of Texas Southern in 2018 and spent some time on Washington's active roster in 2018 and 2019 and spent the past couple of seasons in Seattle as a practice roster kind of player. He has a couple of catches in the NFL, uh, but just nothing really notable here. But he signs with Saskatchewan this offseason. And it's worth noting that the Riders have done a really good job transitioning former NFL guys. Now this next guy is a guy that didn't really do much at the pro level. Didn't really stick anywhere in terms of actually making a roster in the NFL. 
but he made a big name for himself at the college level, and that is quarterback JT Barrett, a former Ohio State star who set several school records, including the most career passing yards, and also held the record for most career passing touchdowns in the Big Ten. As I just mentioned, he had several stops across the NFL, but never really saw regular action. He last played in the Spring League in 2020. And what's really interesting about Barrett when it comes to where he is here in Edmonton is that despite entering the league right now as a rookie here in 2022, there have been rumblings that he is considered the favorite to win the out starting quarterback job, which is just insanely rare. If you're new to the, watching the CFL, it's insanely rare that a rookie comes in right away and starts. You usually have to see a guy learn for a year uh, on the bench. Even the greatest quarterbacks in the league have had to do that. So it's going to be really interesting to see if he actually does win the training camp battle. Competing against Barrett in that quarterback competition will be former Arizona quarterback Khalil Tate, who is most notable for his ridiculous stat line during 2017, rushing for over 1,400 yards and 12 touchdowns in just 11 games. I remember when he was playing that year, it was just some of the most ridiculous highlights, so I'm excited to see what he can do with Edmonton. He was last with the Eagles from 2020 to 2021. Um, didn't really see the field at all there. It was just an off-season training camp kind of guy, so we'll see if he makes a dent here in the Edmonton quarterback competition. It's going to be really interesting. Rounding out the list, we have a trio of skill players. First, I want to talk about wide receiver Reese Horn, who signed with the Calgary Stampeders this offseason. Horn went undrafted out of the University of Indianapolis, and after being cut by the Titans in 2016, he would end up signing in Europe, where he played for a few seasons and was a star. In 2019, he was a member of the Alliance of American Football's Memphis Express, and then in 2020 was a member of the XFL's Tampa Bay Vipers. He topped that off by playing in the Spring League in 2021 which earned him a training camp invite by the Cincinnati Bengals. So he's kind of the king of all of these alternative football leagues that we've seen in the States. And so after he was cut by the Bengals after training camp in 2021, he ended up signing with the Stampeders not long into 2022. So going to be interesting to see if he can add to his very interesting career pro resume uh, and really excited to have him here in the CFL. Second to last, we have wide receiver Brandon Langley, who started at Lamar University as defensive back, and that ended up getting him selected in the third round of the 2017 NFL Draft by the Denver Broncos. He would spend 2017 and 2018 with Denver, and during the tail end of his two years there, he would begin to make a position switch to wide receiver. After being cut by Denver, he was briefly going to join the XFL after being selected in that league's draft, but he received a practice squad contract for 2020 in the NFL. He has been out of pro football since 2020 and signed with Calgary this offseason. And last but not least, we have perhaps the most well-known player on this list, and that is wide receiver DeAnthony Thomas, now of the BC Lions. Thomas was a very well-known college star while at Oregon, with electrifying highlights in the receiving and return game. He even featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated prior to his junior season, touting him as a truly unique player that can be used in a number of ways. After an outstanding junior year, he decided to enter the NFL Draft early, where he would be selected by the Kansas City Chiefs in the fourth round in 2014. Thomas would have a long NFL career, featuring largely as a return man and gadget type player on offense with the Chiefs. After five years with the Chiefs, he would be released, but then signed with Baltimore for the 2019 season. Thomas was under contract with Baltimore for the 2020 NFL season, but ultimately decided to opt out of the season due to the pandemic. And ultimately, this was his last appearance in pro football before signing with BC early in 2022. And I'm just really excited to see what Thomas can do in the CFL. I really just think he has the perfect skill set to be an electrifying player in this league. Really excited to see him join the CFL this offseason. Just so excited to see what all of these players can do. Hopefully some of these guys make uh, good impacts with their uh, teams that they signed with this offseason. Be sure to let me know in the comments section, guys, if I missed anybody notable that was a former NFL draft pick, college star, uh, you name it. Tell me in the comments section. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I really appreciate it, everybody. And with that said, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.